Where is this live now? Let's see. Cool, okay. Awesome. Hey everyone, if you're new, I'm probably gonna drop out of my PhD in like six months to focus on entrepreneurial interests. And so I need to prepare for that. And my first step is trying to build up a personal or project and knowledge management system, which I'm currently using Obsidian for. I've tried all the different uh, knowledge and I've tried like paper systems all the way to Notion, Todoist, and they haven't really worked for me. I don't, you can't really customize them. And so right now I'm looking into Obsidian, all the different customization options. And yeah. And so previously I recorded um, me going through all the different options in the, in the system, in the, in the settings. And uh, now I'm going through what I haven't gone through so far is the hockey's community plugins and starting to build up my system. And so now that I've I've explored some of the hockeys, these are the different ones I need to explore. I've started to look into the community plugins, which I actually have here. These are all the different community plugins I want to explore. And and now also I need to build up a system. And so I've been, I guess I'm struggling with how I want to go about building up a, a system with this. Let's see. Okay. So I'm kind of struggling between I have knowledge of what hockeys I want to use. Actually, let's see if I can share my screen. Okay, that is not working out how I wanted to. Hmm. Maybe Zoom. Let's try Zoom. Zoom.
end this start a new one So I need my hotkeys. System. So the question is now, how should I go about making my system? set some of the hotkeys but then what if I need to change it when I do community plugin hotkeys and should I should I make my system first considering what community plug plugins are available or should I make my system and then decide on what community plugins to use. Let's see. I think, so I've explored all of them except sort of what system I want. So I think what I'll do first is go over, try to make a system. So there's
Oh, there you go. I always gotta check that I'm not showing something I shouldn't be showing. Oh, sh there are so many PKMs or PKM systems. Latch. Where's pair? Let me just find pair. Probably just make my own. Projects, areas. Area resources. Inbox calendar archive. Next action. This is my current system. I like the idea of inbox. It's just one place where everything goes. 
of archive and let me actually call projects efforts is typically, for example, where you can archive projects. And you're cleaning the, building up the house, building some, building up a room in the house. So you had to take receipts, you had to take how-tos. That was a project. Projects, when you're done with them, they need to be archived. So this would go in archive, which makes it different different than sources. Mm. 
what are sources? Sources could be, so when I mention sources, I think of like books or articles, videos. But are books, articles, videos project dependent or do you have a general library? That's something I need to think about. Okay. And What is access cycle? So that list is dashboards, maps, content, data scopes, overview. This is like my version of library. Spaces, my space is going within projects. Cool. Yeah, my spaces are organized as different projects. And so each project can have its own work space, I guess. So this is sort of like an abstract overview of a system, as I imagine. But then, let's say data day, what am I doing? So what I need to do now is come up with my ideal sort of day to day. So let's see. Let 
glaube, wir sind Obsidian. Seed tiles for the day. Can change. So sometimes for my morning routine, maybe I want to include a different action. So I want to be able to change them. But I really want to see them as recurring. are planned see my tasks for the day where the tasks come from okay so that's another part of an effort so they're part of 
a project or whatever I want to do. If it's at random, it's processed through whatever processing system. So then, whatever processing system. So if the, for you that's like inbox, well for me if that's inbox, and then eventually next action or efforts or given day specific action that's there but if it's immediate then I do it immediately now if it's an effort this so all tasks come from efforts unless they're random and if it comes from an effort that means it's planned so if it's planned typically it's from the week before or on the weekend I mean so let's see So I think what the way I'm gonna approach this is efforts are essentially projects. How are all projects categorized? And projects are taken by humans. Let's let's go that abstract. A project is taken on by a human. Now, because it's taken on by a human, What are sort of all the areas in which a human, why isn't this showing up? hierarchy of needs but who really thinks about like 
<laughs> well, at least in, in... Could it be a project? Getting water and food? Maybe for some people. I mean, definitely for some people, but like... I mean, it's not something I have to deal with. So, moving on. Personal security, employment, resources, health, property, intimacy. No, I think it's a good way to think about things, but I don't think it's the right one. Schedule, organize my system. So with each human, they, the different areas in which we can undertake an endeavor, I think fall into these seven areas of wellness. If you want to do something, you're doing it either because you want to learn, um, because it makes you feel better for example meditation i think that would go into emotional or therapy or journaling maybe social people can do things there like networking no maybe networking. whatever what there are tasks that are particularly just social or mainly social then there's spiritual slash religion occupational jobs I also include business under here so start making startups um, people who do YouTube this YouTube would fall under here environmental this would be taking care of the planet I believe it's always it, this one has always been one that I'm not sure at the moment how quite how to fit it in but we'll figure it out eventually so efforts go into into seven areas like a meta folder just in general about organizing the system and adjusting it life ops does this work for me still
out of every place. How do I make sense of all this now? I think generally I understand what system... How my system is going to be structured, but then the UI part is always the... Uh, how do I interact with this system? That's the hard part. Let's see, so this is my overall system. Once I start here. System. Let's say we have an inbox. So this would be email inbox. What else do I have? Where else?
yeah so that's my system or my inbox all my inboxes now I don't know about someday maybe <sighs> calendar
obituary. It's very one sided. My roles and permissions. Maybe. Permissions. I don't know about permissions. My permissions. What I permit. Environments. That's where you're a part of. My tools. What you use. Mm. I don't know about those. Life reflections. Those are not scary. Life reflections. Slash experiences. That's very bird's eye view of things. So that's that's okay. Now I know where efforts are. <clears throat> so let's think about archive. stuff we're putting things that we're done with do we want to put away things how do we want to put things away by year yeah year makes sense let me see I have actually oh, we have archive books I've come up with a way already to organize my yearly stuff, my taxes and other receipts. So I want to see if that makes sense for me.
yeah, so this is how I, every year, try to keep track of all these different things. And so I'm thinking archive can be this every year. Does that make sense for this archive for projects? Have projects by year? Hmm. Or maybe archive can be or when we think about archive let's ask chat I don't
so then what we're doing is by date and time. But I'm also, I'm currently using date and time. Each year I have all the folders that I showed previously. But then for music, I have a, a music folder for recipes, there's a recipe folder. I already have a comprehensive list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every year, yearly stuff. So I don't need help on that part. My yearly stuff is housing. Employment records should, in fact, go under employment. Yeah. So that's my yearly stuff.
<laughs> so many. So housing is Denton Park that ah. okay. there's that.
so there's financial records, yes. Bank statements, yep. Credit card, investment loans, yes. Receipts, this one I'm not sure about. Tax returns, yeah. That makes sense. Too old or too young for this. Mm. Too young for this one, so. <laughs> Receipts. Yeah, we'll keep that. Housing and property. So mortgage. Don't have that. Or rental agreements. Yeah. Home improvement records. Home insurance policies. Yeah. We'll keep that. Not everything applies to me, but I can see in a couple years it applying. So I'll keep those there for now. Personal identification, so birth certificate. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. See, this isn't by year. This is more. Let's see, personal. Marriage. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get married. You shouldn't get married more than once. Well, not shouldn't, but you should hopefully get married only once. But shit happens, but regardless. Personal identification, legal documents, wills and trust documents, attorney documents. I'm not familiar with any of these, but we'll keep it there. Yeah, we'll keep. Keep it there, I, I think. Educational records, yeah, that could go by year. Resume and work portfolio. So this is another part that I'm not sure about. Because a resume, I, would you want that by year or would you want it to treat it with by itself. Health insurance. Maintenance record, insurance policies, life insurance policies. that I'm unsure about are those legal documents I'm gonna put Let's see what it says for that, and depending on that, maybe. Oh, yeah, so this is yearly legal correspondence. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave that for now. No needs. Yeah. Now, what about this? I would think you would want those all in one place.
let's just keep this separately. So far we have, we're archiving with our personal identification uh, documents, our yearly documents. And now what? And then we're also archiving, oh, personal. Keep that separately. Uh, creative works. Collections. Subpoenas. No, let's keep the error codes. separately oh this is really rough so photos videos make sense personal correspondence yeah I have that journals yeah I would use that travel documents Creative works, manuscripts. I'm not sure about this one. Hobbies and collections. I don't know about hobbies, but collections make sense. Recipes, family tradition. Actually, I'm unsure about this one because that seems more like a project and not necessarily something you can archive. Lastly, there 
this. I think this is where most of the other ones would fall. me for So resume and work portfolio, this falls under occupational, professional licenses and certifications, again under professional or occupational, family tradition.
creative folks. creative works let's put that in intellectual hobbies will be just not have hobbies and just make sure to organize any tasks any efforts I do that are more hobby but it can still have some degree to it of being a hobby and organize it into intellectual family traditions is my volunteer social I think and then creative works intellectual
archives. What about sources? Sources, this one's clear to me. Sources, efforts. Sources are not archived. Sources are just their own sort of thing. Sources archive. Let's say library. I like that. I like the idea of library. So in our system, we have loose information, which can be from any number of inboxes. From here, we process it. Uh, I need a reference. Where is that? What is it? Is it actionable? Yes or no. If it's not actionable, we're deleting it. We're moving it to. either efforts or archive or library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Efforts, archive, or library. Yeah, that makes sense. If it is actionable, can we do it now? If it requires more than one step. And it's something we want to. It's a project we want, we're doing right now. Then make it an effort. Add it to the efforts. Otherwise, do it someday later. If it can be done by somebody else, delegate it. We're waiting.
what's left, divert, put in the calendar, or put it on the next action, put it, okay, 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 we almost have the whole system, almost have the whole system, let's see. So I have sources figured out this I will write as library. Daily task. Recurring tasks, something new. intermediate and then multi-step let's put it into it can be any one of these so let's just say this is less than two minutes over step is just a multi-step action plan so yeah if you're waiting on something okay okay so then from here we need to see if we can, if we can delegate. If we're waiting for something. Oh. Uh, So here, I'm going to make a key distinction. This can include delegating it to someone. But the way you would phrase an immediate task would be delegate this to someone. And then your action would be to delegate it. So then from there... Actually, let's include all three. Makes more sense to do that. From there, delegate.
Where are they going to do it? Delegate. Or wait. Or we're waiting. Why are they doing? Delegating or waiting? No one there. So we're either doing, scheduling, Now with tasks, when we're scheduling, they can either be a soft schedule or hard schedule. A soft schedule is like, I want to do it generally on this day or in this week. Versus hard is, I have an appointment at 7 a.m. on one day. So those are the four actions I can come up about. Let me make sure. So we're waiting deferring it, so that's scheduling, we're doing it when we're available, versus when also considering the timeline, versus a specific date and time, it requires more than, okay, let's go back here, or actually, let's go quickly to, if it's not actionable, we can Delete archive. Let's see, what was it? We're either deleting it, we're putting it in efforts. not actionable we're either archiving it putting it in the library or deleting it makes sense putting it in the library or maybe I guess we can put it into efforts Attach it to a specific effort. Yeah. So now let me think about this. If it's actionable, it's either immediate, intermediate, or multi-step. Let's break this down, actually. So if something is multi... No. If something it's immediate, we can either do it, delegate it, ah. we're either doing it, 
delegating it because it's not we're not the person that can do it or we're waiting delegate and wait yeah delegate immediate we either do or we're delegating it because it's not it's not something for example if we don't have a point of contact and we just need to reach out to someone who knows someone then we're reaching out to them and that's our action and then we're waiting for the response of their action now if it's intermediate over here I would say we're scheduling We can soft schedule it, hard schedule it, or delegate it. Now what if it's multi-step? So this is an effort. is like a project or it is a project but it could be of any size so some are long term others are short term so it just depends on if you actually want to add it to efforts or if you really want it to cases and then have like a full ass diagram for that I just want to have something that's simple but encompasses encompasses like the majority of cases process it oh 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 got it got it got it we need to process it because if it's 
specifically what efforts, something that involves more than one step. Fill out application to do. No, that's a, that's a one part. Anything that involves more than one action. Hmm. Process. And then. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, I think I know how this looks. But no what processing look like, it still needs to be fleshed out. But How can I draw this?
So if we have an action that is multi-step, oh, duh. We need to process it. So we need to break down what processing looks like. Processing looks like and once we process the project then we have a series of actions for that project that are immediate or intermediate if that makes sense See what I'm missing. We're missing someday, maybe. as a new task. case where we are where we don't delegate but we still wait but I don't know the difference between waiting and someday maybe in that case 
Yeah, I think. Hmm. We'll keep it like this, knowing that there might be corner cases of actions that are not delegated, but they still need, there still needs to be some weeding. So what does processing look like? It's multi-step. Very abstractly, it's processing or Sunday maybe. Let's see how they did it. Is it priority? So the only thing we need to define left is processing, but that's what the overall system looks like. Or overall workflow, I guess you could say. And so we still need to define That's the structure of the system.
four. So there's find to the backup options. Where we're archiving it, the library, which is my personal computer. a vault like a folder and so all of this is essentially just a folder and a bunch of uh, MD files and so we can keep everything you need for your projects basically within a vault and it doesn't it's not extending the memory of your vault or of the obsidian software but it's just adding more folders and files to your computer which is what you already do so it's easily accessible within the vault uh, without any other downsides, I guess. Now, if it is actionable, or multi, or if it's not multi-step, then it's immediate. So this, if there's many of them, we can either, if it's a few of them, we can knock it out one at a time, or we can just put it into our daily notes and delegating weights. What about delegating weight? Maybe have a someday delegate me something. scheduling so that can go in a daily note or a weekly note hard scheduling that's going into outlook or in the waiting folder so priority if it is multi-step we need to determine its priority if it's something maybe we already have that in obsidian
we're processing. So the only thing we need to define is what the process of processing looks like. interact with efforts how do we process multi-step things sweet so we made good progress that'll be i'll come back to this in like an hour see y'all then